It is the most commonly diagnosed cancer in women. One in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in their lifetime. So how often should women get tested? What kind of resources are out there and the steps you should take? This morning we're joined by Sandra Ariano with Loveless Women's Hospital joining us again. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for coming by. And we wanted to talk about how this is something that women really need to integrate into their lives. I mean, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, October. You got your pink on, of course, but we need to be thinking about this all year long. Absolutely. So we recommend that every woman over 40 should um, st still be getting yearly mm -hmm. mammograms, uh, yearly clinical breast exams by their provider, and monthly uh, self-awareness e exams. Right. And if, if they're under 40, but if you have a family history, that might change some things. Absolutely. So if there's a family history um, of breast cancer or there's, um, you know, y you want to talk with your provider and maybe, you know, come up with a plan. Maybe you should be getting mm -hmm. screening more regularly depending on th that uh, person's family history. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. So over 40 for those mammograms unless you have a family history and then those self-breast exams at home. So many ways to make sure you're staying healthy, your friends are staying healthy yes. as well. And you guys at Loveless have something going on here starting tomorrow. Tell me about that. Yeah, so starting tomorrow, every third uh, Tuesday of the month, uh, Loveless Women's Hospital has partnered with the Young Survivors uh, Coalition out of New York City to form uh, the first chapter in New Mexico, face-to-face mm -hmm. -face, uh, Albuquerque at Loveless Women's Hospital support group for women under 40 um, who've gone through a uh, breast cancer diagnosis. Mm -hmm. So that will be peer-led by two really wonderful women who uh, went through breast cancer treatment in their 30s. Um, and it's open to any woman who self-identifies as young. Yeah. So um, we, we can look on our website, loveless.com, yeah, to find out sure. some more information, absolutely. And we'll have all that information on our website as well, kob.com, so that people can, you know, get some support. They've been through this together. They can talk about it now in their experiences. Yes. So thank you so much, Sandra Ariano with Loveless Hospital. Thank, thank, you. thank you so much. And thank Steve, you. back to you.